Rohan, you're chasing a story, a story about homeless veterans, but it's not exactly what you think, and the kindness of strangers. What do you got? It's a story we've covered on the show many times. U.S. military veterans returning stateside from serving our country when our country needed them most, only to be forgotten by our country when our veterans needed them upon their return. Now, a couple in Jackson, New Jersey, has literally opened their doors because, as they put it, someone had to. Mike? Julie? Julie, pleasure. I'm Rohan, and uh, where are we? We're at Guiding Lighthouse, 1039 Farmdale Road. In Jackson, New Jersey, right? Yes, we are. All right, let's check it out. Mike and Julie Lapari live in a beautiful home in Jackson, New Jersey. They also have an adjacent apartment on the same property. That property is where Guiding Lighthouse was born. Three years ago, Julie stumbled upon a story regarding homeless female veterans and thought, We were sitting outside by our fire pit one night and said, you know, we have our apartment open. Why can't we help one of our female veterans? Why can't we open up our apartment for one of them? So it all started there. <laughs> now Mike, a tradesman and a businessman, worked with his wife Julie to remodel their home completely, open their doors to create a place of relief. We decided to, sh instead of cursing the darkness, we're gonna shine the light. I'm not blaming the government, I'm not saying there's, I'm not doing that. Mm -hmm. We just decided there's a need, we're gonna step in and do what we have to do to help mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. And as far as the funding, we sacrifice. I work a lot of hours. And I, we, we put out, she works, I work, we both work hard, and we sacrifice for other people. Now, Marie is the very first resident of the Guiding Lighthouse in Jackson. She's lived there for three weeks. Her story was really, really phenomenal. I seeked help through the two veterans organizations, um, and neither would help me. I was left homeless, I was left in a parking lot, with nowhere to go. Now, according to Wounded Warriors, at any given night, there could be over 50,000 veterans on the streets uh, on any given night. Jay Lassiter is here. Jay, thank you for being here. You are the you are a contributor to uh, Insider NJ. The wittiest columnist at Insider NJ, that's me. <laughs> that's how I will introduce you going and forward. And modest. <laughs> so we appreciate you being guest chaser today. Uh, I want to ask you, how badly has our government failed that you see issues like this propping up all over the state, whether it's addiction, and you are an expert certainly in fighting addiction, to homeless vets, there's so much need for people to just step up and give themselves because the government has just completely failed. The government has completely failed. When Rohan was telling that story, I was actually getting a little bit like emotional. I don't know, maybe I'm just close to that threshold of tears because of the political state that we're in all the time. Everybody's fighting all the, all the time. But what really moved me was they didn't point fingers. They did something and we can all do that. Jay, to play devil's advocate on the other side, there's always another side to every issue. What about the people that might say, are they really qualified to help people in this state? I mean, what about people who are trained in mental health uh, issues to actually administer therapy, counseling? That would, be, that would be the best case scenario, but sometimes you just have to sort of triage. Look, if they sat around and wait for the perfect people to address this problem, then nobody would address it. They stepped in, they saw that the government, there's so much blame to go around, both sides, both parties and they weren't interested in, in getting caught up in that. They just wanted to fix it. Thank you, Rohan. Thank you, Jay.